Pasadena in. <laughs> of all the photo ops and selfie stops in Minneapolis. I've heard that it's very symbolic. There's one that seems to top them all. We made it look like she was uh, picking it up. Whether you're visiting from Norway. We have seen it on pictures. Oh, I like that one. Or posing for senior portraits. Fun people are like, we want the cherry, the spoon and cherry. Oh, that is cute. <laughs> Talk about staying power. The public got its first taste of the spoon bridge and cherry when it was installed for the sculpture garden opening 30 years ago. Yeah, that's hard to believe because it doesn't look like it. <laughs> wow, I remember that when I was a kid being built, so I guess that means I'm old. <laughs> Jason Strandberg says his son Asher likes it, but he's personally not in love with it. I don't quite know why it's the sensation it is, but everybody knows about it. Tens of thousands of people every month come through here just to come see this sculpture. Annie Gillette Cleveland with The Walker says sculptor Claus Aldenberg's first designs were actually missing. One key ingredient the cherry. Sculpture was a little too serious and he felt like that was his way of adding more whimsy to the sculpture. Oh yeah, flower. Yeah. Maybe that's what makes it such a selfie staple that the walker now claims 93% of Metro residents have one of these in their photo albums. I'm not sure where that statistic comes from, but it wouldn't surprise me. I'm definitely in that 93%. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. 94% now, right? <laughs> and just think about the next 30 years. Maybe closer to 100%, I don't know. Kent all. Care 11 News.